Good morning. So a lot of you were obviously going to do Feral Monday. Yes. But a lot of you wanted to know how I do my top knot. I am terrible at hair. Okay. Hair is not my thing. Um, makeup is my thing, if you haven't noticed. But I, I'll show you. I want to show you. Obviously, we're going to brush our hair. It's nice and brushed. I'm using a wet brush, which most of us probably have. That's not going to do the smoothing, though. And then the next thing I have to do, which I'm going to have to flip my head over, which I don't think you're going to be able to see. Yeah, you will. Okay, I just do that. Okay, flip it over, and then I start brushing it to where I want it. Get ready for it. Okay, we're just brushing it, placing it, grabbing all this hair. I have so much hair. <laughs> okay, just think very high ponytail. Now, this stuff, I love it. I get it on Amazon, it's very affordable. Um, I'm gonna put some here, I'm gonna put it on my desk. It is sticky, it's glue. I think it's even called hair glue. Yeah, mega glue. That's what I need for all these little frazzlies I have floating around in my head. I have, oh, see, Ooh, and it's super humid today. Nope, no, no, no. All right, I'm just gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna show you how much I use, but remember I have a ton of hair and I have wavy hair, so I need about that much of the glue. And then I'm just gonna put it on my hand here, and then I just, there you go. And then I start with the gluing process, okay? We do the front. We still have another trick, okay? There's a little bit of a trick. You gotta switch brushes here in a second. Picking up more. I'm gonna do this all around my head because I can feel it's not smooth back here. It's bumpy. And give me just a second, and I'm going to absolutely link it for you, but you just gotta give me a second, okay? Because I have such a sticky hand, I'm gonna have to wipe it off. So if you're wondering why I didn't tag it, I'll do it as soon as I get back under control with the stickiness. Okay, just go all around your head with it. And I used every bit of that that I just showed you. All right. Ooh, I see an escapee. Mm -hmm. Get in there. There we go. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. This stuff is so good, though. All right, so the next thing I do is I take a brush like this. I'm so bad at hair, I don't even know. I bore bristles when I'm assuming, but more of a smoothing brush. And then I'm just going to do that all around my head and give it a really nice smoothing effect. But I normally do it upside down like a bat. <laughs> okay, now remember I have that butterfly haircut so I have a lot of layers right here. So I'm taking that gel and I'm just kind of twisting it through and I'm also starting to twist my hair now. We're twisting that, then I'm gonna hold it right there. I don't even do an elastic, okay? I don't really like elastics on my hair. If you'll ever notice, I never really do elastics. Um, I do find that they're, they can be a little damaging. I know there's different versions, but I just don't like that tension on my hair. We're all different. Please don't feel any judgment here. Okay, there you go. I just wrap it around, and then we're still gonna have to do a little correcting with the frazzlies, but that's why we got the, this gel here, this glue. And then I use pins. Now, these are a bent pin. I, I don't really see a difference in them. So if you just wanna get classic ones that look like this, that's fine. But I do use the large hairpins. And then I'm gonna start stabbing these into this bud. This is really hard to do with this glue. I'm, what I mean, what's hard is me doing a tutorial with it and it's all over my phone. <laughs> okay, glue, just glue them down. Easy peasy. And then if you wanna just do a little bit more, where you know that you might get a little frizzly. There you go. And then I'm gonna add some more pins. And that, I feel how many pins to add just depends on how much hair you have. I, I add quite a few. Um, I know that my hair is always doing something back there. <laughs> and again, you just keep on till this dries. But once it dries and sets, it's not going to move anymore. And there you have it. That's how I do this last resort, didn't wash my hair last night, fun. And then that's the link for the hair glue. I think I saw it for $8 on Amazon. Um, there it is. It lasts forever. It holds, doesn't damage your hair, washes out so easily, because I have a lot of hair, and it just washes out with shampoo, 
doesn't leave a residue. I love it. I've used it for years. Yeah. To what I know. <laughs> Let's do, I want to do a watercolor look. I do. And I want to do lavenders. By the way, this is probably one of my favorite colorful palettes of all time. It's from ColourPop. I hope that it's in stock. It goes in and out of stock sometimes. Um, I don't know. But if you ever want to add a palette and not spend a fortune on a colorful palette, but you just want to add something, um, just a little fun to your very neutral collection. I know that most of us have this palette right here. I cannot recommend it enough. And then I'm going to use another ColourPop one because I want to do mint and lavender. I was inspired by my top. So I'm going to use mint to be, I don't know if this one's still around, but this was probably one of my favorite palettes when it released in 2015. 1,000 years ago, it feels like now. Um, I love this palette. I love mint colors. And I used to be, I feel like I would do a mint look once a week back in the day. It's one of my favorite colors to wear. It's just a very happy color for me. But I love this palette too. And this is, look, it's still the plastic packaging, which I do love that they switched to the paper. But this is an old palette. Now to get a watercolor effect, we're going to need two bases. We're going to need, we're going to need a white base and we're going to need a clear base. Let's start with our clear base and we're going to take that over this way, kind of where our upper crease starts all the way to our brow bone. I'm also going to grab some duochrome pigments as well, but we're not there yet. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna give us some contrast. It's gonna have my skin tone peeking through, and then the white is going to really enhance the pastel shades that we're using. Okay, let's get a brush. I might have one. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a C31, and I'm just gonna make sure that's nice and evened out. Now let's grab our white base. Again, I mentioned when you want something to really be very true and to color, especially a pastel or a neon, you're going to want a white base. This one is from City Color, so affordable. I will go get you a link. Um, it's something really fun to kind of spice up what you already have because you'd be surprised, obviously, how different eyeshadows look on different bases. So let's just go ahead and take that all the way in here. Remember, we can clean this up in just a little while. I'm actually gonna post a video on cleaning up today. Well, tonight. So let's just even this out. I might add a little bit more just to make sure it's a little bit more opaque. I don't want to really see my skin through it. There we go. Just got to make sure that it's nice and even. Don't worry about how wet it is. Worry about how we set it in just a second. Next, we're going to need a tiny brush. When you're doing watercolor, it's best to place the colors and place them in very small sections at first, then come back and add the depth with a larger brush. Um, but we're also gonna need a Sheila. Get, get your Sheila ready. Okay, I'm so excited. This sounds like so much fun to me. Let's go ahead and let's start with our lilac shade. Oh, I even like that this one has sparkles in it. That's gonna be pretty. We're gonna grab it on the side of the brush and I am just going to start placing. I feel like I need to go grab another one. And by another one, I mean another lavender shade. I want more depth, but I'm thinking that I might get my depth from the other shadows that I'm going to use, the duochromes. And do you see how I'm using the side of my brush just to kind of place it for right now and see how different it looks as we set that base? How different it looks. I just grabbed a white eyeshadow. I'm still using the lavender, but I'm telling you why I grabbed the white eyeshadow, which we'll grab in a second. Um, I can get more colors and dimension if I add white eyeshadow on top of this lavender. It's going to make it even more pastel, so it can kind of shift it a little bit. I'm still deciding if I want to go get another lavender eyeshadow. And what's fun about a watercolor look is that we're able to just have fun. I don't have any rhyme or reason why I'm placing this right here. I'm just placing it. Sounds fun. Let's place some here. Pretty. And I know you're thinking, no, but I can see this final outcome. I see it. 
And this is such a soothing technique. Um, it's very peaceful to do this. It, at least it is for me. Now I'm taking, again, more of the lavender. I'm just going to place some here. But then what I'm going to do is, remember how I mentioned the white eyeshadow? We're going to make it an even more pale lavender. So we get just different shades of lavender. And that's a good way. If you don't have a ton of palettes, um, just we all have a white eyeshadow somewhere. So we're able to get at least another shade of lavender out of our one shade. So there's the lavender. Grab the white. Tap that on top. I love makeup. Now it's time for our mint shade. Let's start with this one. See, I have more options here. The lilac one had too much pink in it. So there's a lilac version, but it felt too pink to me. Let's just press some of that mint here. But I will say a really good tip so we don't kind of lose track of placement is just go from side to side each time. I might go grab the lavender palette. Okay, where else do we want to place this shade? Let's place some here. Same thing. But now we need everything to start to fade into one another. That's what's gonna give us our watercolor effect. So we're just gonna to start to tap our mint into our lavender. And then I'm gonna go grab my other palette. Perfect, so this one's the Lilac You A Lot, also ColourPop. Um, we're gonna grab this shade. Let's see where we go with this one. That's kind of, I love it though. Um, but that's kind of gives you a good idea of what I was talking about. You can see that difference between the blue that was in the other purple and the pink that is in this one. I always like for y'all to learn things about the colors because once you understand what color is in a color, <laughs> you are pretty much unstoppable. Color theory makes you unstoppable and that's why I was always so drawn to it. Okay, let's see where I'll just put this on our lash line here. Let me throw some here. Still the same shade. And then this is obviously, I'm out of control. We'll fix that in a minute. But I wanna show you that this is absolutely gonna crease completely normal. Now I'm gonna create just a little bit of depth here using that same shade of purple. Just tapping that there and then I want to add some sparkly on my lid and my brow bone but I haven't decided what that is just yet and then I want, I want to do one more thing with the mint so let's take that we're going to grab that same shade and we're just going to lightly start to set everything in this upper crease I can't wait for you to see this with bad camera it's so cool Now you need a big old fluffy brush. You need the E29. This is my inner rush brush is what I like to say. But the reason we're gonna use this is because I wanna tap that mint to kind of blur everything together. And the fluffier the brush, I'm waiting to hear y'all say it, the more diffuse the application. <laughs> so I decided that I wanted to see my skin tone just on my lid. I wanna do gold on the lid. Actually, I wanna do this shade. It's not quite a gold, it's more of a yellowy gold. Um, <laughs> This is from Carla Cosmetics. This shade is called Buttercup, and I, I think it's going to be very pretty. We're also going to put these two on top as well, but we're going to do that. We're not there yet. I get ahead of myself because I get very excited. So let's go ahead and clean up our lid space, just half. We're not cleaning up all this pretty melty goodness over here. Just cleaning up half of our lid space. We're going to do a little bit more clear base. Where we just took that off. This is gonna really enhance that duochrome shimmer. Nice. 
And then let me just grab a different brush here to even this out. Always even out your base, even if it's clear, even it out. Okay, put on your makeup seat belts. Now let's grab Buttercup here. So cute, love the name. Okay, grab that on our A27 that's gonna go on our lid. That's a party. That is a party I wanna go to right there. And then we're just gonna feather it up a little bit. And by feather, I mean tap it above that line. And then I'm gonna tap it over this way as well. And we can kind of come back in with some lavender in a second if we want to. Just tap to transition. Now we're gonna take the shade Buttons. Let me double check, that's the name. Yes, and it's the more minty one. We're gonna take it on the fluffy brush because we don't want too much of it. I picked up a little bit too much, there we go. That's how much we want. And then I'm just gonna place that on the mint areas. And it's okay if it's not perfect. This is just all about having fun, using all the colors that we, our favorite colors that we don't normally use on a daily basis, perfect. And then I have already have the shade Dolly, which is this pretty lavendery purple. Have that one queued up and we're gonna do the same thing with that. We're just gonna place that here and then there, some here wherever that lavender is. And then I'm trying to decide if I wanna do a wing or what I wanna do. Ooh, that's pretty. So now I took this, let me get closer. Let me get it, let me get it here. So I took this Shiseido Micro, Link, Micro Ink Liner. I love these, by the way. The gray one is one of my favorite liners of all time. And we're just gonna do a little bit of a smudgy wing. Don't worry about the fold of your eye, just go over it. Even if you see the separation there, not a big deal. What we're gonna do is we're going to smudge it in just a second with the lavender, but I do wanna bring it about right there, stopping it. Now, to make this more cohesive, we're just going to take this lavender shade on our E27, and we were just gonna stamp that all on top of what we got going on. And it just smudges it perfectly, we're done. Super easy. Now it's time to clean up with our micellar water on our C30. And then I'll wipe it on Sheila. And then we just keep going. And if you've ever wondered, all you have to do is let the micellar water dry and makeup goes on it perfectly. And also you're using such a small amount that don't ever worry about having to reapply anything. I feel like y'all will see people use a makeup wipe, which is makeup remover. Um, to kind of do this, which I don't really use the makeup wipes anymore. And the reason why is because I found I was using so many, it was very, very wasteful. So that's one of the reasons I like to use a brush and the, the micellar water. Um, it's also just so precise to me. But when we see people use uh, the makeup wipe, we don't think about, oh, well now I gotta put everything back on. So I'm not sure why micellar water and a brush makes people think that, but it's the same as a makeup wipe, if not less. We're doing our Libre Lashes style number two. I ordered more lashes from Libre as well. I think I ordered all of them again. I love them so much. I love these and then I love my Rocal Beauty lashes. Those are my, those are my go-tos. All right, I'm gonna put a pause because Ben has invited me to lunch downstairs. And by what I mean by that is he invites me every single day and <laughs> we have lunch together at the table. So I'll be back in just a little while. Before I go, oh, let me do my waterline. We're gonna do half mint, half lavender ombre. This is Crybaby and the other one was Icebreaker. Both are ColourPop. Fun. Okay, I'm back. I don't normally share a lot of my life, but in case you're wondering what I did eat. I talked about this last week. We eat cereal, we love cereal. It was a shredded wheat day today. And, and I don't mean the frosted mini wheat ones. I mean the big bricks of the shredded wheat. So crunchy and delicious. Now let's get our foundation on, but I'm actually gonna use my Kosas concealer. I actually have the shade 3.60 and it's gonna be a pretty good foundation shade for me. So I'm just going, and I'm not going full coverage. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, we're gonna waste so much concealer. Um, I haven't even dipped back in. So don't worry about that. And also I have a video on this. This is going to look a little off today. And the reason why is because what we wear 
kind of changes the color of our foundation and concealer. So in the mirror right here, this looks perfect. It's gonna be my perfect shade, but it might look a little bit off because this is going to make it pull a little bit more yellow, a little bit more green, this by my top. And then I'm gonna do my concealer shade. This is my, the one that I've been using. And please make sure that you check out my last reel. So important, do not miss my last reel. Now, I wanna just be a little bit more precise with my blending today, so I'm gonna use my C31. We actually have a duo right now between this one and then the C30. Erase and embrace. But why I made such a small concealer brush like this? I bet you're wondering why. It's gonna take forever to blend. It doesn't. And it's really important that as human beings, we take time and we use a small brush around the very expressive areas of our face, whether that be here, where we smile, where we move our forehead, where we just smile, squint, judge, no. <laughs> but whenever you use a small brush and you really work concealer in those areas, you have a lot less creasing. Using a bigger brush can be faster. A sponge is very, very fast but taking your time and working around these very expressive areas. I was saying working around these very expressive areas with a small brush is a game changer. I cannot stress it enough. You will enjoy your concealer so much more. Now for the rest of what we got going on here, I'm just gonna use a C42 and then we melt it together. So if you're thinking, oh, it's gonna take so long with the C31, no, because you're really only taking that extra effort where we have the extreme expression, where we might have fine lines or where a fine line might pop up later. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> because then we just go back over everything with our C42, with our pressing motions. And just keep tapping. This concealer is so pretty. I'm just so happy that they added more cool tones because I couldn't use it before. I remember everybody was using it and I couldn't use it. Poor little flamingo pink rose could not use it. Now I can. Now I'm going to go ahead and set. So satisfying. By the way, this Nakia Joy Cosmetics Powder, really loving it. That's the link for it. This is the, one, the exact one that I'm using. I went and checked. I love it so much and you can pre-order it right now. Y'all are absolutely gonna love it. 10 out of 10. It, this one does have a pink tint to it, but it's not what I would consider one that shifts your makeup to a pink area. It's not that ultra pink powder, I think, um, the one size. Not that I dislike that. I just know that sometimes we don't always want an extremely uh, blushy pink under eye. I love that sometimes, but for just an everyday quick blur, this powder is so smooth. It's so finely milled. And that's, that's what makes a good powder to me. The more finely milled, I'm talking just, it just sets your under eyes so beautifully and lasts. I'm gonna get wild and I actually don't wanna wear bronzer. Say hi to this little creature. <laughs> the googly eyes. But I do wanna do I wanna do this purple highlight from REM Beauty that I dropped and need to fix. It's just a little bit loose there. This purple one, okay. Ooh. And then look, look at this. Well, you can't, cause it's ran away. I literally just had it. I, these things grow legs, I swear. Let me find it. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. And then look, I have a minty one too. That's gonna be our highlight. Yes, a mint highlight, absolutely. But what makes this really, really nice is there's not too much of a white base to it. See how you can kind of, well, you can see through it. You can still see my skin through it. Yes, it's a little green. No one's saying that this is a natural everyday highlight, but it's not gonna be just green. Like this, not like that. So I wanted to do a little bit more of a lavender blush. I'm blinding you, I'm so sorry. You can see when I tilt it down, you can see that there's a, quite a bit of purple in there. Um, definitely some pink, but I didn't want to just do a straight purple blush on my skin tone, a purple blush. It's not where I want to go. <laughs> but this definitely has a little bit of that. And another reason I love these is 
I know they're very spicy price, so we can't, I understand. They're not something that we can all add to our collection, but I do feel that I, there are other things that we, we enjoy, but I do understand the price on these because the formula is something that I have not been able to dupe. I can dupe this color. Um, I can dupe a few colors of them, but there is something special about this formula. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna press it here because it is an eye to cheek. They just make me smile. That makes me smile. And if this brush right here, this is the C41, if it's good enough for Adele, it's good enough for me. <laughs> Never gonna be over that. So we're just gonna build this up a little bit more, kind of on the tops of my cheekbone. We're still gonna put highlighter there in a second. I'm trying to decide where else I wanna put it. Let's go ahead and put it just a little bit where we normally put bronzer. Just for a little bit more color to the face. Notice I didn't dip back in. And no, I'm not gonna look like I have a red face. You'll see it with back camera in a second and you'll go, oh, yeah, that's subtle. <laughs> so I have an idea. I'm not gonna explain it, I'm just gonna start. So I don't wanna just take my wand and go right here. That's gonna pick up the concealer. But what I do wanna do is even out that eye base, you can see it there, I'm gonna grab it on my fluffy brush and I'm gonna tap it with my big fluffy brush again. Take it all over, I don't know if you can hear it raining. It warmed up so much here. I think it's 60 outside right now. Oh, so much better. I am not used to that chilly weather. Okay, we've got our very tacky eyeshadow base there. Same fluffy brush. I did wipe it off on Sheila. We're gonna go ahead and press that under here. And we're gonna start to diffuse. Let that come down a little bit. This is gonna be the base for our, why is my hair here? That's the hair off of my head. Oh, this is gonna be the base for our highlighter. <laughs> then I have just a tap of white eyeshadow just to blend these edges, soften it a little bit. Fun. By the way, I shed, the brushes don't. Do you ever notice that? Do you ever notice that you never see a brush hair fall on my face? That's right. Now we'll take a little bit of the base since it's not going all the way over concealer, we can just do a little tappity tap there. Then I'm gonna need my E27 again. Actually, I'm gonna use this one. Ooh, yes. This one's from the Essential Travel Set. If you need a pencil brush, this is the pencil brush. And then I need my mint shade. Just kind of a few things. Back into this shade, grab it on the side of the brush. And then I'm pressing it into the base and then pulling it over this way. All right, now same fluffy E29. We're gonna go into the purple. It ran away again. Let's grab it on the side and we're gonna take that underneath here. I love makeup. I love just playing in makeup and having so much fun with it. So pretty. And then this is the shade Mama Earth. And then we're gonna put that under, just to kind of mimic what we got going on on our eyes. I thought it would be really fun. Just wait till you see the back camera. We are just luxuriating today, but this color is really nice and cool and a really nice nude, so I wanted to use it. Plus I have it, so I might as well use it. I will say that this formula is not extraordinary. If you don't wanna just buy it to have it and just, you know, be spicy one day, you, you're not missing out. But this color, it was right here and I feel like it's gonna be perfect with the look, especially once I find a lip liner. Um, the shade is Lorna Dune and it's the Gucci lipstick. But again, it's really not a special formula. I like Mario's formula more, but this color is just perfect for what I'm going for. And also I'm gonna film putting the highlighter on on this side because I thought filming a pink and, I mean a, a purple and green highlighter would be fun. I love this look so much. I'm trying to decide what I wanna put on my inner corner. I kinda just like the mint being there. Yeah, maybe we'll leave that matte. I haven't decided. 
And then I'm gonna do Sephora dress to the 90s. So my friend, the beauty radar, I'm gonna tag her. She was watching an Alex Earl live. I didn't see it, um, but she, Alex mentioned this formula that we have been screaming about for, I don't even know how long. So I'm so excited that this formula is getting recognized because it's one of my favorite lip liner formulas in the history of lip liners. And dress to the 90s has been our go-to hour, hour here watching this. <laughs> For how long now? I don't even know. It's so good, especially if you wear a lot of lip oils, lip glosses, because this is a gel formula. It's so good. All right, there's our Feral Monday. Pink highlighter, green highlighter, this Monet type watercolor mixed eyeshadow. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this. I think that's so pretty. I love mint. I wanna just do a really classic kind of neutral mint look. I feel like we haven't done one in a thousand years and we need to. Um, I'm excited. I love you all so much. I can't wait to post what I'm gonna post tonight. It's super helpful. And I think that that's everything. Mm -hmm. I hope you all enjoyed this and I will definitely be saving it to my highlights. And in case nobody has told you today, I love you so much. I'll see you in the comments tonight.